Hello everyone, it's Cody Siltis from ConsciousLove.org here for another spiritual reading. Um, this time, oh I don't even know what date it is. Today is September 11th, so God bless to all those who've missed, um, who are missing someone who has passed away from the tragedy of this time. Actually, yeah, let's take a prayer, let's take a moment of silence for that. I'm actually surprised how little I've heard of that today. So perhaps it's a spirit saying, hey, let's not forget what we've been through. Let's not forget the sacrifices that were made. Um, oh, and this is a beautiful lesson too. Um, wow, this is just coming out of nowhere. Understanding how things happen for a reason and how God works in mysterious ways. Like, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Let's still honor the sacrifices though that, you know, Spirit made in that moment to have that, whatever God's plan was, again, we can't blame or be hateful for what happened um, because there was something bigger at hand that we just don't understand that was meant to transform us all. Um, but let's never forget, let's never forget I've even heard kids at work today like making jokes about it or seeing like images on the computer and how that's just kind of being mocked and how that's spiritually not okay. So. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's remind those spirits who pass on that we love them. I literally was not even going to talk about this and it just came up and I feel like there's a whole bunch of people holding my shoulder and really wanting this message to be expressed how sad it is that some of us have forgotten the sacrifices that were made and the pains that people went through. Wow, for you. Even though we don't understand it, there was a divine process at hand. There was a silver lining to the painful transformation. Never forget, they're just really saying, never forget, never forget. This is your wake-up call if maybe you were, if you forgot, <laughs> or if you purposely ignored, or if it was too painful and you stopped thinking. Honor it, they're saying. Um, yeah, and don't make it a joke. <laughs> okay. Me and Spirit love you. I guess I'll put that in all of them. Um, wow, well, okay. Have a moment, please, for, send a prayer <laughs> to everyone who was affected by that and is still affected by it in the physical and non-physical. Um, life, existence is complicated, um, but the best thing we can do to help is just to be sending our love, so please, please do so, okay. <sighs> okay, so. I don't know, maybe these warriors will be with me this week. I'm using, I'm actually incorporating a new deck finally. I'm using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck, because that's just being really called to me today, as well as the Secret Language of Colors, um, who Michelle Patterson uses all the time, which is why I kind of hesitated using them, because I do love them, and I love her, and she kind of inspired me to start doing this. Um, so go check out her thing, but just don't leave my channel. Um, <laughs> Um, she's Angel Souls 444, um, and hey, she, yeah, she inspired me, so maybe, I don't know, whatever. Eh, she's a little bit more professional than me, and then I just kind of talk to a camera, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, but it is where I stole that let's get into it thing from, but whatever. Uh, um, I want to say thank you guys for, again, for your love and support. Apparently, monthly readings are a big, um advertising tool because I got an increase in subscribers. So thank you guys, new subscribers. I love you. I'm going to keep trying to honor what it is that you guys want. Um, so again, spirit can be spending more words through me and through you. Um, not for my own selfish ego. Um, yeah, I'm excited for those of you who requested, um, free readings and you're still waiting on them. I'm doing them tomorrow. I swear. Well, maybe not. Well, again, they're, they're on my list of things to do. I'm just very, 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 very busy, which is why I'm not taking on any more. 
Um, but yeah, thank you, Jacob and Susan and <laughs> Caroline and Faye and Diane and Dawn and everyone else. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Luckily, as a spiritual medium, I can say, hey, God works in mysterious ways. Uh, you get what you want, you get what you need when you need it, not what you want when you want, which is a beautiful way of justifying that, you know, I was just busy. <laughs> And if you were complaining, whatever. Hey, technically it's still true. <laughs> I'm just going to send you guys my love and light and just reassure you that they are coming and that we all have to believe that, you know what, it's going to come through me and to you precisely when necessary. So if you've been waiting for one for your crutch, well, maybe you were meant to go without it for a little bit to stand on your own two feet. I always said that the angels and mediums, like we don't want you to be attached to us and live through us. Uh, we just want to inspire you and wake you up a little bit and just empower you to go live life the way you want it. So I'm gonna end this quick because this is already six minutes and I guess it was, it was very, very, very worth it for the moment of silence and messages from those who have been lost um, during the 9-11 um tragedy um but again let's use that to transform us and propel us forward that uh, seems to be a big theme um is taking that which seems negative and transmuting it to something positive into allowing it us to become better spirits better entities better better living things <laughs> better consciousnesses so with that being said, let's dive right into these readings. Namaste, you guys. I love you so, so much. I am so honored and truly blessed to be serving you at this time. So, love you guys. Let's get into it. I said it again. <laughs> love you guys. Hello, water signs. It's getting a little dark, but I think we should be fine with our reading. We have four cards. Every other reading, you're my last one, have been saying what it was. This one's been living in the shadows. And that's interesting because the first card that popped up I'll t get to in a bit. Um, it's just face up, like, immediately. We also have one card from the Language of Colors. Okay, I'll just get into it. They're really eager to talk to you guys about this. Dun dun dun! The Shadow Queen. Acquiring knowledge. Insecurity. Manipulation. You're feeling insecure. You're manipulating yourself, other people, your environment, trying to get what you want because you feel insecure. And the inquiring knowledge thing is remembering from the spiritual perspective how this is about diving deep, going into your shadow, shining that light, seeing it for what it truly is, getting knowledge about the self. Whenever you have these egoic moments, it's about learning about yourself, learning about the greater world and the spiritual universe, the universe that was inside you. Okay, so it's going to be... Man, we're all having rough weeks, but I feel like for you guys, it's going to be very inward, very quiet. I, I'm hesitant to say depressed or anxious. It might be if that's you. But very low energy, not negative. Well, a little bit negative. Um, I can see you guys like sitting on your bed, just kind of worrying about the future and your life and being miserable and beating yourself up. But that's okay because you need to be going within. You need to be facing your demons, which again are the illusions that your ego creates, okay? Not these real monsters that float around and try to bite you, okay? <laughs> you are God. We all are God. We all are the universe. Realize that in this moment, that everything is protected underneath the divine law. Everything. So it's okay to shine your light as she is. To go into that darkness within you which again it's not another evil force it's just the emotional part of you that you want to deal with that is lacking in the love light energy and you're being asked now because of this imbalance to be focusing some loving attention in that direction okay so do that this week deal with those things appropriately again the spiral dancer, circuitous routine, perception, your perception of the negative things, hold on, of the, okay, finish your sentence, Cody, but then move on, <laughs> of these negative realities or what creates it, your negative attitude, but specifically because you haven't been dealing with this, things keep happening over and over and over again. You keep being led back to the same place. Whenever you think you're making progress, you get sucked back into the same place. It's kind of no wonder it's getting dark here. It's going to add to the mood. <laughs> Again, nothing to scare, nothing to make you upset. There's always love and light in your control. 
And that's like the real message is just to be aware of that and to be shining that. Even if you just visualize it and have that happy moment of, oh, I'm happy light, shine. That visualization speaks in the abstract words of the soul um, and actually does have metaphysical results, okay? So even just doing silly things like that, that may be silly or seem weird to you because it doesn't make a logical scientific sense, do it anyway, who cares, have some fun. Clearly you've been a little bit too serious and you need to be shining some love and light, so get into it. You gotta stop you doing the same thing that you've always done. The true definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And this is, they're saying this is twofold. Like, you do the same thing so the same thing comes back to you. And you forget that that is a part of you. You are the world. You are dreamer and dream both. So it's because you can't just blame God, because guess what, honey, you are God. And so, like, you're not, you're not better than everyone else, God, but you are a spark of the divine. Okay? So it's always a mutual thing here. When these things keep happening, it's your fault as much as it is, God, because guess what? We're one. Literally. We're infinite and one at the same time. It's so cool. But <laughs> right now, I guess you don't want to talk about that. You want to, you, you got to be dealing with this stuff that just keeps hitting the fan over and over and over <laughs> again. Okay? The strength of your heart, they're saying. The diamond dreamer. This keeps coming up with a lot of my Scorpios. Material wealth, true prosperity. Say it. Um, they're just asking me to sit with it, so I just sit with it. True prosperity is within you. Know that everything that happens happens for a reason, but truly we're trying to unearth the diamond that is you that you've been hiding underneath mounds and mounds of dirt and garbage and abuse from other people and primarily yourself we're having you reach these dark points in this time so that you may clean away the debris do not fear the darkness it is your own emotions of which you avoid it is only that which you refuse to see <laughs> and they're making fun of me. They're like, Cody, we were channeling through you, and then you just got an itch, and you scratched it, really? <laughs> to receive the benefits of the external world, water signs. Realize how it's reflected within you. If you're unhappy with the way life is, realize it's a reflection of you. You are source. We are all sparks of the divine. And what you see without is what is within, as above, so below. Realize the interconnected exchange here. Realize it. Diamond in the rough. I'm getting reminded of Aladdin. You know, the diamond in the rough, but also the ability to make wishes and how you can't be wishing for the wrong things. Like there is protection there, um, but there's power in what you're wishing for. And you haven't been wishing. You've been wishing for little stupid things, but not the real important things that a spirit's kind of waiting for you to say yes to, to initiate. It's kind of like the universe is ready for you to propel forward, but we're waiting for you to be ready to make the real dreams come true. You may be wishing, oh, let me get through today, or oh, let me, you know, let them not see me right now, or whatever it may be. You don't, it's not gonna, those are insignificant, pretty much. But we're ready for you to discover the true wealth within yourself. And then we can move forward together, okay? Challenging cure, they said. Again, not always, okay, whatever. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Lady of Lightning, which is like the tower in the traditional tarot. Surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. The wheel must turn. If you haven't been changing and you haven't been addressing these things, it's only going to get worse. So if you're not taking the proactive steps to deal with these circuitous routines, and to discover the true beauty within yourself, the true wealth within you. Your health is your wealth. Your self-love is your wealth, okay? 
then again, this is the sad truth. Perceptively bad things happen for good reasons because we're balancing things out energetically. If you're not going to do the work, if you're not going to go within and combat the dark yourself, then you're going to have a dark time. Quite honestly and frankly, and this is not about intimidation, this is not about fear, but this is about realizing the consequences of inaction, not so much your actions. You've been avoiding this for too long, and you have one or two options to either go into the dark within yourself and shine your loving night light and to let the truth be revealed to you, or unfortunately, be attracting more and more dark things things and negative things to happen to you to let that happen to let that paradigm shift happen and it's kind of like you're attracting some negative things to happen to you so this is kind of dangerous again this is just being mindful this is not like oh spirit is in control of your destiny no 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 what you've been not doing has been dangerous and you're attracting and creating this negativity hold on one second I forgot I have my laptop. I can open that for some light. I was going to go, ha, oh, but it's not turning on. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. So, go within. Deal with these traumas and dramas. Deal with them. Process them. Because you're not going to like what happens in the physical if you're not dealing with it in the spiritual. You are spirit within yourself psychological, emotional, whatever you want to call it. Don't worry about semantics and word choices. Go within, overcome your demons. It's why you're having a hard time. You need to be facing it. You're given what you need at this time. And right now you need to be combating your demons. Again, not scary monsters. Illusions within your own mind that you create, that you need to face and overcome. They're the fear of your mother abandoning you. They're the fear of being left alone or dying or starving or whatever. They're thought forms. <laughs> within your field, so to say, whatever, I don't know. So a color for you to be working with, burgundy, awaken your passion, the number is 10. For the few people I know, who I know have been forsaking their passions to live a comfortable life because they're so afraid of life, so they can't pursue their passions. Oh, hello, the universe is literally waiting for you to give the go ahead to say, hey, we're ready to make your dreams come true and like, you know, let you go forward on your divine path. But you know, you still wanna be applying for dumb jobs that are not risky enough. You need to make a drastic change. You need to be following your heart because you can literally do anything and go anywhere right now. So why not go do it? We're here, we're waiting for you. You still have free will, but honey, look at what your choices of an action can lead to. I don't want to see bad things happen to you guys because you're not, not that you're not doing the work, you're not doing this, the, the hard spiritual work that we have to do. You know, we have to deal with the negative things within our minds. We have to address the things about us that we don't like so that we can change it, so that we can send love to it. And we're going to feel probably really shitty when we're doing it. And we're probably going to cry a lot, but guess what? That's beautiful. That's literally energy condensing into matter and getting out of you, <laughs> okay? Pray with your angels. Again, everything happens for a reason. You are safe. You are protected. It is safe for you to be going there. Energetically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, to be going to those dark places within your side yourself. Because again, hey, sunset, death, transformation, renewal. Always darkest before the dawn, right? You will survive this dark time because it's the ending of an era and the beginning of a new, beautiful, radiant, loving light era. Whatever, that was almost a sentence. <laughs> so, they just said namaste. We love you. I love you. I'm going to sit here a little bit more just to be giving some love and light to you. Um, it'll be okay. The angels in the physical and non-physical are on your side. And we're all angels. We're all <laughs> spirit. We're all God. We're just in different places. So, I love you guys. I honor you so much. Thank you so much for all the blessings you give me just by being here on my channel and allowing me to do this for you. 
I love you guys. So, thank you. Love you. You need it. I love you. Believe it. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm done. Bye, lovies. Love you.